Ah, Utopia. That magical and seemingly impossible paradise where everything is perfect and we all live happily ever after. Not to seem like a curmudgeon or anything, but uh, please get a grip. The concept of an unattainable utopia has been around for a long time, officially since the year 1516, when Sir Thomas More wrote a book by that same title. In it, he muses freely about the perfections of human imagination in a decidedly non-existent place. He uses this mystical Neverland as a vehicle to contrast with the way things really are in the world. We all have our personal utopias, where we can wistfully while away the minutes or hours longing for this personal paradise. The thing is, it's a trap. And a great one, too. Most of the great religions of the world promise some sort of paradise in the afterlife or a code of conduct that if everyone just followed this, the world would become perfected. So it's a pretty transparent control mechanism. The problem with utopia is that it begins with a judgment and ends with a conclusion. The judgment that my current circumstances are bad or untenable and if some magical thing would just happen, my life would be perfect. Well, perfection is a judgment in and of itself, too. Perfect in what way? Once perfection is attained, then what? That's the conclusion, the big conclusion, that stops everything from becoming something else, something much greater. The judgment and conclusion of perfection completely denies how creation actually works, because if your goal is the attainment of utopian perfection, you're going to be working on that for eternity. Why? Because utopia you envision now is not the utopia you'll envision later. Everything changes, including your idea of utopia, your judgments about it, your conclusions about your own life. So it's completely an exercise in smoke and mirrors with nothing concrete that would ever show up except for perhaps unhappiness and frustration. In the existing quantum world, once something is observed, it changes. Thus, the artificial construct of utopia, once viewed and desired, begins immediately to change. It does this, in fact, to the point where most of us give up on attaining our utopia after childhood. We settle for what is easy and obvious and what is comfortable, or what we're comfortable doing, or even what doesn't hurt. We are infinitely powerful beings. We have the ability to create whatever life we want to create, and the way to do that is requesting of the universe, our creation, an awareness of our greater potentials, and of what else is possible. As infinite beings, we have a need to play big, make waves, make big sound. What's the biggest game we can play, the biggest sound we can make? We don't know, so that's when we ask the question, what else is possible here? How does it get better, bigger, grander? The awareness is revealed by those questions is what the universe is already set to deliver you. All you need to do is follow the yellow brick road. So stop dreaming of or even working on that illusion of the unreachable utopia. Instead, ask the universe what amazing greatness it already has available to you right now. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX, www.pureenergyrx.com.